Wednesday morning. Uh, just got my McDonald's. Had to use an ATM for the first time. Cash only nowadays. Uh, so, uh, should be a very good morning. It is 43 degrees right now. I think it's supposed to only get up to like mid 50s um, into late morning. And we're going to a spot in the Talladega National Forest that we haven't been before. Um, it is about 300 yards in from the road on a ridge that is almost like a stadium. So ridges all the way around in a bowl underneath. So we're just going to go up there and listen. And it should, like, I say this every morning, but, like, this should be the best day we've had yet. Um, because it's going to be like 40 to 50 degrees and there's no clouds. So, hopefully we hear something and, uh, hopefully we get our first bird today. But, oh yeah, and, uh, got the coronavirus haircut. Looks horrible. My dad, but <laughs> we're all good. Nobody's out here seeing us but the turkeys. We're not even seeing them, but, um... Yeah, we got about a 45 minute more drive and we'll get on a bird. Uh, I thought I'd get here at 5.15. It's uh, 4.40. Um, it is a little road that goes into the National Forest and has a couple private properties around it. I haven't seen anybody, so hopefully this is under hunted and uh should be a great morning. Uh, like I already said, but I'll take a nap and walk in soon. Five twenty-five. I had forty-five minutes. I didn't sleep as any teenager who just drank a monster. Um but uh we're about to walk in. It's the most stars I've ever seen in my life because of all the light pollution um, in the city. But so that's pretty cool. Um, so I'll start getting ready and uh, we'll go in. All right, we're about 100 yards from where I wanted to set up. And on the draw going up to the hill I was going to set up on, I just busted.
looks like there still is that other one across the road that I haven't heard either. But I like he's probably in this bowl somewhere. Or on the next ridge. So I don't know whether to wait or not. I probably will. Just slept. It's so steep. My bibs were too low, they got wet. This is beautiful. The creek. Nice and open. Now this seems like the spot somebody would kill a turkey. This place is flooded with them. I'm finding scratching everywhere. There's this trail. But. Looks good. Alright guys. Just because I'm back in the car. Fight's not over. We uh. We bumped a doe. I think. Um. So. We're gonna. because I saw one truck on this road um, so hopefully it's unpressured because that turkey was 50 to 75 yards off the road so that's a good sign and uh, maybe in the morning he'll be back in that tree I can sit in my truck and call him in um, but yeah for right now we're going to drive around and uh, call from the road. See if we can strike anything up. All right, it's currently 11:30. Um, I've been driving around. 
Um, went all the way up to, like, basically where the road ends or where I couldn't drive anymore. Came back. The wind's really loud. I may have heard one, like, 600 yards away. I really think it was just my mind, though. Um, but I think, like, this time it's, like, I know you can get one early. Um, and, like, kind of get them off the hens, like, later. But, I mean... I don't know. Like, they're just not responding. So, like, it can only get better come for you when they don't have any hens. Um, but, um, right now, I'm gonna keep driving around and, uh, probably head home at some point. We're gonna be out here tomorrow. Should be, uh, good weather then, too. So, uh, yeah. So, I got to the next spot and I cannot find my back cut or my yeah, my back cut call. <laughs> and I looked everywhere and I came back to this last spot. And it's not here, but I have this video. And it's not in my lap. I have no clue where it is. I'm so confused. Well, maybe we have to look for this right now. So, I will probably see y'all tomorrow. Should be great weather. Alright guys. I don't know where I last left off, but drove around, didn't hear anything. I found a dog who I asked somebody and they said people just leave dogs in the national forest where they don't want to take care of them anymore. It's a beautiful dog. It was just skin and bones. I sat there for like an hour, fed it all that I had, tried to call it in, but it was just too skittish to come in. Um, went and got dog food and came back. He wasn't there and I poured it out. Pretty upset. Um, but overall, in the morning, um, so we went in there and since his boots on ground for the first time, that's like, that's what we like learned a lot. So like, we busted that turkey 70, like 75 yards off the road. Like we wouldn't, I wouldn't have known that would happen. So now we know there's one there and we're sitting on that we, there's a trail I could have taken, which would be a lot quieter. So I heard four different tur- Scene four, I think. Base heard four. I heard the one that we went after. I heard one across the street, um, where my car was, like on the other side. And then I heard one somewhere else pretty far. And the one we busted, but... I didn't uh, hear the one we busted, but... Um, oh my gosh! five sheriff sheriff cars on that one guy um but at least it's uh we know it's a really good spot now uh, i only saw one car go in there the whole morning and one car like lives there but i think the truck i saw was uh, a hunter so we're gonna be back at it tomorrow should be uh same temperature and hopefully, uh, I might just get a little bit off the road. That way I can tell which one I want to go after. That one across this road. Or the one that kind of we went after today. Or the one we spooked. So, yeah, we should. We should hear them. Uh, I don't know, like, this time of year. Like, I know they shut up after they get hinned up. But I still don't think they're at the point where they, like... They're not, like, going after you when you call when they dropped those mid-morning hens. Cause like I was calling from nine to 11 and they didn't, they weren't calling at all, but it'll heat up later on. So I'll see y'all in the morning. Morning everybody, it's Thursday. Um, just got my McDonald's. Uh, it's similar weather to yesterday. Should be a good morning. It's 425 right now. Hopefully we'll get in there. Uh, sleep till about 545. And we're just going to listen for the road this time. Since there was a bird on the other side of the road. So. I talked to one of my friends last night. Um, just about like certain tips and like what to do. So I'm just going to go after the first bird. Try to get there before he flies down. And hopefully we get us a turkey today. Uh, yeah. Let's hop into it.
I know you can't see me, but it's 540. We're about to get ready and sit outside. And listen, we had a, a total of six trucks come by. So, uh, maybe we'll push birds to this side.
So hot. So I'm wearing layers for 40 degree weather from this morning. Oh my gosh. Got a vine to the forehead. But I'm going to the car now. I'm gonna cool off. And uh, hopefully we get like any action this afternoon. Cause like I don't know what it is, but like, after like 8 o'clock, when they're all hinned up, I like, feel like I, like, lost the whole day, because like, everything shuts up, it's like super chaotic, your adrenaline's rushing, and it's all done, it's just like, I don't even know what I'm going after, because I can't hear anything or see anything, so... I've never gotten anything riled up in the midday, but we'll see what happens because it is pretty hot. But yeah, we're going to go to the car now, rest up, and cool off. We'll get back out here. All right, it's about 11.20 right now. I'm not carrying my vest. just wanted to save some weight, so I just got my calls and my shotgun. We're going to go in across the street. Um in between these two private sections where there's a creek and uh pray that didn't go well i got down there it's being too loud with my feet took my shoes off so i walked in my socks stepped on so many thorns and got tangled up in vines so i walked back and then walked um about 300 yards in on another area and i started like slow calling and then picked up the speed and I heard like scratching, but then there was nothing there. Like I got down and ready and stuff, but then after a while there was nothing there. And I think I may have heard something run off, but like, I don't know. I don't know what it was. I don't know if Tom scratched too or just hens, but I guess that could have been a good opportunity, but okay. <laughs> We're just, uh, going to different spots, walking in and calling. The problem is, though, like, I'm supposed to walk in, like, three to 400 yards, but, like, right off the road is a 400-foot ridge and, like, a drop. It's, like, I'm going to come back soaking wet just to go out there and call and nothing happens. I'm so negative, but I'm trying to find some good spots to go out and call from. That last spot turned out to be half private land. It was just down the road. Pretty open. Goes really far. Bunch of pine trees. Um, I probably should stay to roost tonight, but it's one o'clock. I don't want to go home. <laughs> Go. I'm probably gonna hunt tomorrow morning. I know all other hunters on all day, but it's hot. 
Yeah, so I'm gonna call, see if anything responds, hopefully. Maybe last chance. They don't go in thickets. That's why he and he was in a thicket, like that first one we were like calling to. So that's he wasn't gonna fly out of that or over it into mine. Okay, that's the first thing. Second, I called too much off the roost, um, and I just now like found out like um, like how I called too much and like what to do and stuff. So um, so those two and also. I don't know I just learned like to walk in like a little bit about midday hunting but toward the end I did uh, find a big control burn area which will be great for tomorrow uh, we're gonna go in there it's supposed to be a little cloudy not as good as today but um, yeah big control burn area it's like a mile and a half I'm pretty sure or something crazy like that uh, but I will see y'all in the morning. What's going on, everyone? Hope you enjoyed the video. I am hunting uh, the next day. Um, so I edited this video uh, that night or tonight. And uh, just wanted to say, put a lot of time into this video. There were a lot more gobbles than I wanted to put in just because it would have taken up a lot more time. But if you're watching this, drop a subscribe. Helps me a lot. Appreciate it. Um... But, yeah, I'm just trying to put out the best content. We had a great video today, and I put in a lot of work to uh, make it the best for y'all. So, hopefully y'all enjoyed. See you next time.